Hi everyone, it's Miss Farkasin here. This is a little video for the grown-ups of the children in Primary 1 to give you an update on what our classroom looks like now. Due to the current restrictions, we haven't had the opportunities we usually have to invite you into our classroom. Also, as Parents' Night would have been coming up soon, you would have normally been able to come into the classroom to have a little look at the children's work. So instead, here's a little video just so you can see what the classroom looks like now as it's maybe a wee bit different from the video we did back in June. So when the children come in in the morning, they come in here and they put their book bags in these trays here, which they're all getting very good at now and are very organised. And first thing in the morning, they always come and check in with their feelings at this station here. We read the story, The Colour Monster, way at the start of term, which they might have spoken to you about. And they made these colour monsters for the wall. And each morning they come and they take their little name disc, which you'll see here, and they decide how they're feeling that day and they pop their name disc into the box that represents how they feel that day. So the blue one is feeling sad. We've got the yellow one is happy. We've got this one here, which is the one that's all mixed up and a bit confused. We've got angry, the red one. The black one is scared. The pink one is loved and the green one is calm. And they're very good at coming in in the mornings now in that routine and talking about how they feel every day. So moving around the classroom, you can see that already on the walls, there's lots of lovely work that the children have been doing. So in numeracy and math, they've been working with Miss Smith on some shape work. We've got our number zoo characters up here on the wall. We're currently up to um, number four, which needs to be added. And we work on those every week, working through each of the number stories. We've got our little reading tent over here, which the children enjoy coming over to to take a book. On the literacy and English wall, you can see we've been working hard on writing our names and putting the letters in the right order. And this is where they come and gather all their resources, which they're very good at keeping organised. Over here, this is the area where they come and gather in the morning by the smart board and we look at our timetable for the day, which you can see here on the wall. We also talk about our calendar, thinking about the date. We do lots of talking about what day it is today, what day it is tomorrow, what day was it yesterday. At the moment, this spinner up on the windowsill is a favourite, which has each of their names on it and we use for choosing children to do different things. This little board here is where we do our phonics work and Fred the Frog on the top is the best tool that we have in the classroom to help us learn our phonics. These red stars are for where the children sit for different lessons and they all have their own coloured star to try and keep them in their space on the carpet, which is something we've been working hard on. When we come over to this side of the room, we've got our tough tray here, which we use for different purposes. We've got a little puppet theatre, which the children love using, and our home corner over here. We've got lots of different toys. So that is how the classroom looks now. I hope this has given you a wee bit more of an idea about where your children are coming in to learn every day. Thank you. Bye.